Well, have you heard of the Jet Set Mindset? It helps train your brain to work like a peak performer. Joining me with more is Dr. Heidi Hanna, who is a brain fitness researcher and consultant and former NFL quarterback and Super Bowl MVP, Mark Rippon. Good morning, you guys. Good morning, Allie. How are you? I'm doing well. So, Heidi, I want to start with you. Tell me about the Jet Set Mindset. Yes, well, it's great to be back with you. And as you know, I love hanging out with my friends at Good Morning San Diego. And last year when everything got kind of crazy with COVID-19, I spent a lot of time with you guys talking about tips for mental health. And one of the things I didn't speak out a ton about was that I was really struggling with my own mental health. Uh, I got COVID early on when we weren't even sure exactly what was going on. I was sick for eight weeks. And then I kind of rebounded and wanted to get out and help everybody and rally around what was going on. And I felt like I'd been training for it my whole life as a stress expert. But what I didn't realize was trying to be all things to all people was incredibly exhausting. And so I had to take some time and rethink what I was working on. And fortunately, I started interviewing a lot of peak performers peak performers in sports and business and in music and arts and learning more about how important it is for us to recharge our own battery and to really train like an athlete, you know, on and off the field. So Mark and I have actually been doing some work together for a while. We've had some amazing conversations about our own challenges and what we've done to get better. And even now, you know, what we want to do to take it to the next level. Yeah, and I'm going to get with um, one of your collaborations, what you guys are doing actually tomorrow coming up in just a minute. But Mark, I want to bring you into the conversation because you were Super Bowl MVP, Super Bowl 26, won with the Redskins. First, I want to take you back to that experience. What was that Super Bowl like for you? Well, it's pretty surreal. I think what people don't really understand about Super Bowls, it's like the two teams that are playing the Super Bowls kind of you shove, shove yourselves off to the side, do everything you possibly can to put on a great performance, more for corporate America than it is for, for the, uh, the guys themselves. But that's why you're there. You're there to, to uh, have these memories of, of all the players that I played with to have a Super Bowl championship ring. And unfortunately, in that era for the Buffalo Bills, they went for four consecutive years in a row, never hoisting a Lombardi trophy. And, and that's what the game's all about. But uh, that, that week in Minneapolis, it was minus 20 degrees, which is fine for my family and friends because they're used to it. A lot of them coming from Canada. But, um, you know, yeah, you just, you kind of are off in the in the background there. Make sure you're doing your thing, getting your rest, doing all the things that Heidi talks about and uh, with all these peak performance performers that she has come on and, and things that she's actually uh, shared with me about uh, making sure that you're going to be at your utmost um, level of, of performance at that Super Bowl Sunday. And I know you said you had the ring. I need you to hold it up to the camera for me. I want to see what Super Bowl 26, what the ring looks like there. Pull it forward a little bit. Absolutely. Show me where I'll put it right. Oh, to, there you go. Oh, look at that. <laughs> maybe, maybe you need to bring that down to San Diego when you Wow. Are. I that, will. I definitely will. Is it? I'm sure it's pretty heavy. I mean, so talk about, you know, Mark. You know, what is it that's going through Tom Brady, Patrick Mahomes' minds as a quarterback? You are the leader of the team. What's going through their mind on Super Bowl Sunday? Well, I, I think for both those guys, they've been there before. You know, uh, Patrick did such an incredible job last year as we watched the Chiefs win, um, you know, their first Super Bowl. Uh, Tom Brady, just <laughs> his tenth visit in 19 years. You talk about the goat. This is a modern goat versus the actual goat today. And um, these guys, you know, I just think they're 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 doing everything they possibly can. This has been a challenging year. Uh, kudos to the uh, uh, the NFL for all the things that they've been able to do to get their players to play on Sunday, and then to culminate to this uh, Super Bowl has just actually been amazing. I didn't think they were able to pull it off, but um, so yeah, there's a lot of things, a lot of challenges. Um, you know, Tom, and just in himself, he's 40, 43, 44. Yeah. I don't know. He might even be, he might even be 50. So he could be, he could be, <laughs> could be a few years there. Maybe he was born on February 29th or something like that. But he's amazing. I just uh, I marvel at him, uh, what he does on the field, off the field. And, um, you know, we're talking, and, and we soon will be talking about peak, peak performers. There's a guy that takes mm -hmm. care of his body, understands mm -hmm. what he needs to do each and every week uh, to be at the ultimate level of, of uh 
of, of play and here it is this week he's doing it again yeah and dr heidi i mean that's exactly what you're talking about you're looking at these athletes and you're saying hey the every day the average person can learn a little something can use some of the tips that those guys use into their everyday lives yeah, I mean, when we talk about Tom Brady, it's just not fair. Like, someone should not be that attractive and that talented <laughs> and married to someone like that. Um, and, you know, most of us can't compare ourselves to that, although we will try. You know, we have the same issue with our kids on social media, comparing themselves to everybody else. And I think what's most important is to really get to know who we are and what our skills are, what our strengths are. So I look at that and just break it down really simply into the energy we bring to the time that we have and how we can look at that in body mind and spirit and of course with the you know professional athletes they train about 80 percent of the time compete maybe 10 to 20 percent of the time but the rest of us are competing 99 percent of the time we don't really think about training our body as being business relevant but we know that the most successful people really do take the time so that the energy they bring to that time is going to be extraordinary very interesting. And this is just touching the surface. So you guys are actually going to be doing um, a Facebook Live tomorrow, right? Yeah, we are. So last year, actually, you know, during COVID, I started a show called the Stress Mastery Show. It's actually on LinkedIn Live as well as Facebook Live. And then I took a hiatus and now I'm bringing it back. So every Monday I do the Jet Set Mindset Focus, which is really about mindset and how we prepare our mental game. So Mark was kind enough to, to join me this morning and then we're going to do the show tomorrow. And we're also filming a documentary about this whole concept of brain health and brain performance. Which is just so important and and mark before before we go i gotta get your prediction who you think uh, is it going to be a good game what do you think is going to happen here yeah i, I kind of andre collins one of our senior staff at the nfl and i played with, with uh washington with washington football team washington redskins back in the day uh, he sent me a questionnaire that says who's going to score the first touchdown who's going to get the first catch how long is the national anthem going to be played all these crazy <laughs> yeah. uh, scenarios but uh the bottom line is I, I said 35, 31 bucks. And the reason I said that it's not because any disrespect whatsoever to, to Kansas City and Patrick Mahomes. It's more or less sending off Tom Brady into the sunset, you know, one more time. Who knows how many more times he can do it. But uh, I think this might be the the last in, in, in my eyes. And, and I think they have a chance being at home, even though really a home, it's not really a home 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 team advantage I, yeah a little bit of one and and I, I I'm just I would imagine that it's difficult you know normally uh, I think that Super Bowls bring together so many of the alumni um from the NFL and and I would imagine it's strange this year not going and seeing your friends not going and seeing the guys that you would normally go and get together with um for Super Bowl yeah it's, a, it's virtual and I've actually uh, a, a friend of Heidi and I's are going to be at the game uh today and i told them to go up to section 242 somewhere between section 242 and section 245 my cutouts up there somewhere so that's one of the ways they they brought some of the alumni to the game and say they, they put our cutouts in the, in the stadium so that's pretty neat oh that's awesome well we we uh really appreciate you both joining us this morning of course uh the game today is so much about the mental aspect and that uh, you know like you say it's good to check in with people remind them that we too can sharpen our mental skills to perform at that jet set mindset so thank you both dr heidi I appreciate you coming on, and Mark Rippon, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Alex. Blessed morning to you.